What's going on, my ninjas? Am I the only one that found it really creepy that Kakashi was around every single corner that Kushina was by? Even though I understand he was hired to protect her. I mean, just imagine you looking outside of your window and seeing someone in a black cloak with a mask like that on. And it was really interesting to see Obito looking at Kakashi while he's talking to Ren's grave and when he walks away he just rips out the flowers. You know he is still pissed off that Kakashi did not uphold his promise to protect Ren. Although you know some things aren't as they seem. I'm not going to spoil anything. We'll get to that later on. But Kakashi is finally getting over the incident. Well to an extent anyway. He still is haunted by the images of Ren every time he uses Shidori. But he's like, fuck that, you know, I have to do what I have to do. And it's nice to see that he's doing this on his own without anyone else coming in to help. You know, not saying that friends aren't important, but we've gotten too many, you know, a character is in a slump and then a friend comes to help him out. It's nice to see that Kakashi is recognizing what's important right now and that he can't let this block him forever. And I was only disappointed with one thing in this episode, although I understand why it was not put in there. You know, for you anime only watch. This is a slight spoiler, but it's nothing to get butt hurt over. It's not really revealing anything. In a few episodes, we're going to get Obito's side, like what he was thinking throughout the QB uh, invasion. And since it was shown in this episode, since you know it showed Obito summoning the QB in this episode, I thought it would be easier for them to just put both of those in the same episode, like get what Obito was thinking and then get Kakashi's side. So that means after this filler, we're going to go back to the Nine Tails invasion yet again. Although it's not going to last that long because Obito didn't have that much to say. You know, we, you know, it would have been easier to knock it out right now, but I can understand why they didn't. This is Kakashi's filler, not Obito. And Kakashi is releasing some pent-up aggression. Although Shidori, he couldn't pull off before, he's making up for it. Those Hidden Stone Ninja, well, fake Hidden Stone Ninja got owned by Kakashi. They did not stand a chance, although he should have kept one alive to, you know, get intel like one of the Fodder Ninja said. You know, speaking of Fodder Ninja, why don't any of them use ninjutsu why is it always the side characters supporting characters or main characters unless it's like necessary to the plot at that point but i mean every fodder ninja gets owned by a basic attack not saying that chidori is basic but i mean all they did were they, they threw kunai and shurikens and that's it although we all know what happened to minato and kushina it's nice to get a little extra in there like the last words that kushina told the third like protect this boy and like where they got Naruto's name from and everything and they had a funeral for Minato and Kushina that was nice to see and Kakashi is I mean he has a fucked up life Ren is dead Obito is dead to him his master died I mean he has no one his father committed suicide Oh my god. Kakashi has more reason to go evil than anyone else in this series so far. I don't care what anyone says, but he's still on the good guy side. I find it hilarious that when they asked Donzo, where were you during the QB invasion? He was like, uh... Um, but it's a good thing Sarutobi was there to change the subject to get suspicion off of him. But personally, I think he was shoving Orochimaru snakes up his ass. I mean, Orochimaru is a pedophile. He likes little boys. But, I mean, he may have things for older men as well. Who knows? But around the end, when Danzo came up to Kakashi, and he basically is hinting that Hiruzen was planning Minato's and Kushina's death, which is just complete bullshit, but he's trying to get Kakashi on his side, and, you know, I was expecting Kakashi to say, you're full of bullshit, man, Sarutobi would never do that, but no, he ended up going to Donzo at the end, and I'm hoping he's doing this just to see what Donzo is up to, or, or maybe he thinks Donzo is suspicious in the way, so he's going along with his, you know, with his ideals in the meantime, just to see what Donzo is up to, but I really hope that he does not believe that Hiruzen was planning the death of Minato and Kushina. The anime forgot about him, the manga forgot about him, but at least the filler did not forget about our main man Yamato. We're about to get some awesome stuff from him next episode. At this point, I'm pretty sure people have already forgotten about Yamato, and it's sad because we have no explanation of what's going on with him right now in the manga or the anime, but the real question is, Will 
Kakashi meets Itachi in the Ambu. That would be fucking awesome. That's what I'm crossing my fingers for. Next episode, it looks like it's going to be all about Yamato and, you know, it's going to explain how he has Hashirama sales. Maybe, you know, later on in that episode, or maybe in the fourth episode of this filler, we will get some Ambu Itachi action. That's what I'm, man, I really want to see that shit. Itachi is my favorite Naruto character, period, hands down. No competition, and I'll just fangirl all over the place. But tell me what you guys thought about this episode. This is Majibi Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.